testing one, two. Testing one, two. Yes, sir. All right. I'm on. Uh, I'm telling this story about one of my ex sweethearts. And it's it, really it's reference to a picture I saw at a friend of mine's house. Yeah. So I go over to my friend of my house, you know, one of my ex band members, and he got this picture on his wall. So I walk in and I'm sitting up, and I turn around and look and see the picture. I said, man, where did you get that picture from? So and so, so and so, so and so and so. None of that really matter. I said, man, let me tell you, that picture reminds me of a night with one of my ex-girlfriends. Yes, sir. Uh, huh? Oh, that been a long time ago. This was a long time ago. And so, what happened was, I came back home that weekend. And I don't think I talked to her that week. But when I got home, I called her. And just to see what she was doing. And she said, well, Tim, I got a party to go to tonight. I said, okay. Well, I'll just call you uh, tomorrow. And we'll get together and, you know, and see what's going on. She said, okay. So I decided to go out that night. So we went on up to the club, me and I think some of my friends, some of my guys. We rode on up to the club for a little while and, uh, you know, just messed around up there. And so we come on back home. Uh, not we come back home. We all went our separate ways, of course. But I hopped in my car and I came on home. I pull up on the side of my house because I live on the hill. And I'm going up the stairs, taking my key out, getting ready to put my key in the door. When I hear something or somebody, Calling my name. Tim. Tim. I'm out here at this time of night. I mean, it's 1 30. Why are you calling my name that late? And of course, it did sound like a female. When I turn around and want nothing in front of my house, won't nothing across the street. Won't nothing next door at that neighbor's house. But I kept hearing, tell. And so I looked further down the street. And I noticed the car. I'm like, why is the car way down there? Well, the car door opened. And she getting out the car with this big red ball gown on. And so the, she pushing and pulling on, I can see it from where I'm at. And she tussling with it, trying to get it out the car. Now she had a small Volkswagen with a Rolls Royce front on it. And it was purple. Cause she was in love with Prince. Loved him, loved him. And so, she get out the car and start coming up the street. And she done picked the ball gown up. I mean, it's huge, huge. She done picked it up in her arms and she coming down the street. But she ain't got no shoes on. So I'm like, 
just looking. Because I'm standing on the porch, I'm up high. I'm looking down the street, and here she coming down the street. And so, uh, she get down to the bottom of the steps. I got two flights of steps. She get down at the bottom of the steps. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, where are you just coming from? And she said, oh, I had a, it was a ball. I had a ball to go to. I said, that's a big ass dress. And so she down there, and I said, where your shoes at? Oh, well, I left them in the car. Because she was an old country girl. And uh, I left them in the car. I said, all right. Hold on. I'll run back down there and get them. So I run on back down to the car and get her shoes, and I come on back. And she's standing there looking like a big red Cinderella. So I go on up the steps, and she, and when I turn around, she done grabbed the ball gown and then put it all up in her arms, and she coming on up the steps. So she get up to the stop, top of the steps and up on the porch and let the ball gown go, and it almost knocked both of us off the porch. You was so big. So I opened the door, and she grabbed her arm full of, full of the dress again and walk on in the house. And uh, I go on in the house and shut the door. And you can just use your imagination if you want. But yeah, the picture just reminded me of that time in my life. And that's it. Later.